10 cars that are guaranteed to appreciate in the next 10 years. BMW E46 M3 The legendary BMW E46 M3 is a legendary sports car full of power and stealth. Using a 3.2 litre straight 6 engine producing 338 brake horsepower, the E46 M3 packs a punch, even in today's standards. Ever since the E30 M3 is appreciated, people have looked towards the E46 as a cheap scale alternative. Today. €8,000 would get you an average condition E46, but for an immaculate one with little miles, it'll cost you upwards of €30,000. Let that sink in. Porsche 996 The Ginger Haired 911 The Porsche 911 996 was the first water-cooled 911 in production, meaning that true purists hated the car before it was even revealed. Followed by styling, which was just like the boxer, and major engine problems, and you've got yourself a monstrosity of a 911. With air cool 911s on the rise and beyond, people are slowly turning towards the 996 as a way to get a cheap Porsche. €16,000 is the average asking price, but the price only rises from there. Dodge Viper Over the last few years, Dodge Vipers in all shapes and sizes have been reasonably priced, while the latest generation struggle to sell. Depending on what model you look at, the first and second generation Vipers use an 8 litre V10 engine, producing 400 or 450 brake horsepower while the 3rd and 4th generations use an 8.3 litre V10 producing 535 or 600 brake horsepower. The Viper was a unique muscle car and it will always be remembered. Watch my video. Anyway, the feeling of remembering what we once had has gotten to the Viper, so the value of older Vipers is on the rise. €30,000 is the ideal price tag for a Viper today. Nissan Skyline R33 GTR The Skyline no one likes. Despite having a reasonably large cult following, the R33 GTR was always deemed a disappointment amongst the Skyline community. People felt it was too heavy to be a real contender to its foreign rivals, and a true disappointment to the R32. Underneath, the R33 has all the same characteristics as any other Skyline. It used the same RV26 as the R32 and the R34, and it even had a very clever all-wheel drive system. With prices on the rise on R32s since it became legal in the USA, it would be ideal to get your hands on a Mint R33 GTR as they approach 25 years old, and at a reasonable price of about 12,000 euro, you could get yourself one. Chevrolet Corvette Z06 As of 2017, the Chevrolet Corvette C5 turns 20, the last of the pop-up era Corvettes. Loved by many Americans thanks to its iconic LS engine, composed but basic chassis and badass attitude, even if it makes you look like you have a small with 385 brake horsepower, the Z06 Corvette is no sledge. With prices started at around $10,000 in the States, which adds up to around €8,500, the Z06 Corvette is cheap as chips and it is definitely something worth taking note of. However, do expect to pay more for an immaculate one. BMW M5 E39 In a time where classic BMWs are now too expensive for regular classic car buyers and that more recent BMWs still haven't fully depreciated, People now have nowhere to look if they want some M power for no money. Thankfully, early 2000 BMWs such as the E46 M3 from earlier and now the E39 M5 give fans a sign of relief. The E39 M5 used a 5 litre V8 producing 400 brake horsepower while looking nearly stock. It was a fast car for the more grown up driver. The E39 M5 is loved by all but prices are slowly rising so it's best you snap one up now. €15,000 is the asking price for a good one. Mitsubishi Evo 9 FQ360 The Ultimate Evo The Mitsubishi Evo 9 FQ360 was a monster with four wheels. Producing 366 brake horsepower from its 2.0-litre 4G63T engine, the Evo could do 0-60 to in under 3.7 seconds. Stats so terrifying that it would make it look like Justin Bieber. The Evo's all-wheel drive system was perfect all year round and no matter what the weather was outside, it made sure that all the supercars were put to shame. With only 225 Evo 9 FQ360s ever made, these cars are as rare as leprechauns. As a man who has a slight interest in Evos, Lamborghinis, other Evos, Justin Bieber, and even the universe. I've seen FQ360s rise from around 15,000 euro a few years ago to about 25,000 euro today. Now is the right time to buy one. So do before it's too late. Ford Mondeo ST220 
This rare fast forward has future classic written all over it. Fast forward? Check. Racing pedigree? Check. Rare? Check. Is it friendly? Check. Is it blue? Check. Can I do cartwheels while riding a motorcycle through a ring of fire upside down while in space? No. But seriously, 5,000 euro or less is the asking price for one of these fine Mondales. It gives the driver the satisfaction of driving something fast and fun, which is also stealthy and easy to blend in. Buy one, if you can find one that is. Audi RS4 B7 While on the topic of stealthy sports saloons, the Audi RS4 B7 was a very fast and capable saloon, which was also quiet and practical. Using the 4.2 litre R8 V8 engine, the RS4 produced 420 brake horsepower, which was helped out with quattro or wheel drive. The RS4 is a very good car, especially for the price they're going for at the moment. They're going for about €16,000 now. I personally believe there's another bit to go before they start rising, but if you want one now, then go for it. Toyota Supra Mark IV Everyone's favourite movie car. We've all seen the Fast and Furious movies with Brian Supra and how it beats a Ferrari and whatnot. This incredible cult following has had car lovers praying that one day they would get themselves a Mark IV twin turbo Toyota Supra with a manual gearbox. Sadly for them, everyone else wants a Mark IV twin turbo manual Supra, and so prices are climbing. Don't get me wrong, I love a good Supra. Hell, I think they're a real Supra car. Honestly, they're superb handling and they're spec supular. 2JZ engine, putting all the puns aside, 20,000 euro would be the ideal asking price for a decent unabused Supra. So get saving and get buying.